Sound Blaster 16 with Wave Blaster Header Diamond Monster Sound MX300 with a Roland Sound Canvas SCB55 daughter card attached. The Wave Blaster was an add-on MIDI synthesizer for Creative Sound Blaster 16 and Sound Blaster AW32 family of PC sound cards. It was a sample-based synthesis general MIDI compliant synthesizer. For general MIDI scores, the Wave Blaster's wavetable engine produced more realistic instrumental music than the SB16's onboard Yamaha OPL3. The Wave Blaster attached to a SB16 through a 26-pin expansion header, eliminating the need for extra cabling between the SB16 and the Wave Blaster. The SB16 emulated an MPU 401 UART, giving existing MIDI software the option to send MIDI sequences directly to the attached Wave Blaster, instead of driving an external MIDI device. The Wave Blaster's analog stereo output fed into a dedicated line in on the SB16, where the onboard mixer allowed equalization, mixing, and volume adjustment. The Wave Blaster port was adopted by other sound card manufacturers who produced both daughter boards and sound cards with the expansion header, Diamond, and Sonic, Guillemot, Oberheim, Orchid, Roland, Terra Tech, Turtle Beach, and Yamaha. The header also appeared on devices such as the Korg NX5R MIDI sound module, the Oberheim MC1000 MC2000 keyboards, and the Terra Tech Axon AX100 guitar to MIDI converter. Since 2000, Wave Blaster capable sound cards for computers are becoming rare. In 2005, TerraTech released a new Wave Blaster daughterboard called the Wave Extable with 16 MB of onboard sample memory comprising 500 instruments and 10 drum kits. In 2014, a new compatible card called Dream Blaster S1 was produced by the Belgian company Certico. In 2015, that same company released a high end card named Dream Blaster X1, comparable to Yamaha and Roland cards. In 2016 Dream Blaster X2 was released, a board with both Wave Blaster interface and USB interface. Creative Labs Wave Blaster 2 Creative released the Wave Blaster 2 shortly after the original Wave Blaster. Wave Blaster 2 used a newer EMU EMU 8000 synthesis engine. Some people believe that, despite using a smaller 2 MB instrument ROM, the Wave Blaster 2 delivered better renditions in most MIDI scored games. Likely due to what they feel is better sample refinement and balancing between instruments. While the original Wave Blaster greatly improved upon the acoustic quality of the SB16's built-in FM synthesis, the acoustic quality of its instrument set was poorly regarded by the general public. By the time the SB16 reached the height of its popularity, competing MIDI daughter boards had already pushed aside the Wave Blaster. In particular, Roland Sound Canvas daughter boards, priced higher than Creative's offering, were highly regarded for their unrivaled musical reproduction in MIDI scored game titles. This was due to Roland's dominance in the production aspect of the MIDI game soundtracks. Roland's daughterboard shared the same synthesis engine and instrument sound set. As the popular Sound Canvas 55, a commercial MIDI module favored by game composers, by comparison, the Wave Blaster's instruments were improperly balanced. With many instruments striking at different volume levels Computer Gaming World in 1993 praised the Wave Blaster's audio quality and stated that the card was the best wave table synthesis device for those with a compatible sound card. Thanks for watching.